Members of parliament approve legislation that gives the government more power over the military. It now only needs the president's approval to come into effect. Under the new law, the prime minister will have the power to order the prosecution of any military commander. And with the consent of the government and president, he will also be able to extend the term of officers for commanders in the army, navy and the air force till retirement age. The Turkish Republic will not allow any illegal structure. The state gets its power by adhering to laws. Therefore, with the latest amendments, Turkey has become stronger and respected. But the motive behind the ruling Justice and Development Party is being questioned. The opposition suggests the government wants to further control the military and prevent it from taking any role in politics. It also accuses the government of trying to curb the military's influence and bring the powerful institution under civilian rule. Some analysts say the decision strengthens the grip of the prime minister. The fact that it gives authority to the prime minister to decide about uh, the prosecution and, uh, and the indictment of those army generals who get involved in extra-military activities. Uh, as you know, Turkey has a long his, uh, history of uh, military coup d'etat. By, by doing so, it, of course, increases the power uh, of the prime minister. The timing of this law could also raise some suspicion. Some say it will divert public attention from a corruption scandal that has embarrassed the government. Parliament's latest decision will also likely fuel the speculation among those critics who accuse the government of becoming increasingly totalitarian. In response, the ruling party led by Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan says it will be up to the Turkish people to decide what they want at the ballot box. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera.